Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, we are going to be covering the first episode in the brand new series I'm starting on this channel, which is going to be called The Commendations Completionist. Now, basically what I'm going to be going over in all of these videos is basically how you can complete any commendation which people tend to kind of struggle with. Now, I don't know if people actually struggle with this, but I thought I'd kind of make a guide on it to kind of show you what you actually need in order to complete it, just in case there are some people that are confused. And it's just kind of like a, a nice way to ease in the whole uh, series I'm starting. But uh, anyway, today's video, I'm going to be going Thank over you. the through and through commendations, which are basically representing a trading company as an emissary while wearing the outfit, which also represents them and your ship being covered in their cosmetics. So starting off, we're going to be doing the gold hoarders. Now for this, you're going to need their emissary flag. Uh, so if you haven't done this already, make sure you purchase it and also purchase the costume, which unlocks after you buy the flag. You also need to be level 75 in the gold hoarders and have purchased all of their hull, cannon, wheel, capstan, etc, etc. Now, once you've done this, you're going to vote to raise the emissary flag and head on over to the shipwright customization box. Now, once you're at this box, you basically just need to put on the following cosmetics that I show here, though you don't actually need to use the gold order sales. You can use the ones you got for previous emissary ledgers if you don't want to buy them, but I'm pretty sure you have to anyway, but uh, just, just a little note there. Uh, so once you've done this and put all the cosmetics on, head on over to your clothing box on your ship or on the outpost and put on the gold hoarder costume. Now, once you've done this, you will receive a notification saying hoarders through and through. And once you receive this, you have now completed the gold hoarders through and through commendation, and you can move on to the other factions. Now, next up, we're going to be going through the order of souls, and you're basically going to be doing the exact same thing. You also need to be max level. So uh, do the same thing as you did for the gold order, buy the costume, vote to raise order of souls, emissary, then head on over to your shipwright cosmetics, and pretty much put on the exact same ship set that you see me running here. Same thing goes for the uh, sails. You can use the emissary ledger sails instead of the normal ones if you uh, can't find them. But uh, the good thing about the gold order merchant and order of souls ones is that they are all next to each other in the shipwright uh, cosmetic box. So you should have a pretty easy time finding it. Now, once you've done this, you're going to head on over to the clothing uh, box and put on the order of souls costume. And obviously, once again, once you've done this, you will receive the commendation for order through and through. Next up, for the merchant, exact same thing. Raise the emissary, buy the costume, head on over to the shipwright uh, thing, the shipwright cosmetic box, and put on the exact same cosmetics that you see me running here. And once you have done that, you're basically going to head on over and put on your costume, and then you should be done. Anyway, moving on to the Reapers now. The Reapers, you are... I'm pretty sure you have to be max level. Uh, just a quick thing, you don't need the flag up the top of your ship for any of these, so don't bother with that. Um, but once you have got a max level, you basically need to buy the Emissary flag and purchase the costume and do the exact same thing, putting on the exact same cosmetics that I have here, voting to raise Reaper. Um, so as you can see here, I'm just showing you the cosmetics that I have on my ship. And then I'm going to go and put on the Reaper's Bones Pajamas. Uh, or, well, costume, but we call them the Reaper Bone Pajamas. And uh, as you can see here, I now have the Reaper's through and through commendation. Now, I had this before, but um, trust me, <laughs> this is how you do it. Um, now, lastly, just showing you the Athena one. Now, this one, this is the way that I managed to do it because I didn't have it. But uh, this is the way that I managed to do it. I took this clip after I actually did the Athena one. So um, I didn't get the uh, commendation on camera. But this is the exact same ship set that I was running. Pretty much just the full legendary. I tried it with full ghost. But it didn't work. So um, if you do want to get Athena through and through. You can try the ghost stuff and other legendary stuff. But this is the way that I got it. Um, obviously wearing the costume, using Athena Emissary, but this is the uh, ship customization that I had on, just full legendary. Now, obviously, if you are, if you're new to the game, you may not know, in order to get these cannons, you need to be Pirate Legend and sink 500 skeleton ships. So uh, it's a 
pretty long grind and you're also going to have to get the wheel and the capstan from doing things such as sailing a thousand miles completing 30 voyages and stuff so uh, i will bring out videos on them in the future as well but uh that's yeah that's that so um hopefully now you will have your athena through and through commendation uh, as well as the Reapers 1 and the other three factions. So that about wraps it up for this video. Hopefully it was just a nice quick short video and it was helpful to all of you people who were struggling with it and not knowing what cosmetics to use. So um, yeah, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you're looking forward to the rest of this series, let me know in the comments. Also check out my Twitch. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday and any day in between if you're lucky. Uh, I usually do it in the afternoon GMT so I would say maybe 3 p.m. you can expect to find me live sometimes I start sooner but I'll always be live at around 3 or 4 p.m. Um, and then I go on until whenever I want until I'm bored or whatever so uh, yeah swing by there anyway thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video goodbye